You're what? Huge. <laughs> Your mother. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so let me grab a link to the stream and the thing and tweet tweet about it. Tweet all about tweet it. Tweet it out. Tweet it out. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> uh give me the link and I can throw it up in announcements. Hello, and again, welcome to the Visionary Games Minion Modeling Seminar. Before we begin, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all activities, serious injuries may occur, such as laughter, enjoyment, and death. <laughs> I love it. You make me feel like I'm playing Portal all over again. <laughs> Like it's a sarcastic humor, but really dark. <laughs> right, okay, that's tweeted. And, uh, where do you want me to put this link? I'll put it. You can just PM it to me if you want. And then I'll throw it up in announcements. Yeah, I'll just put it in there. There you go. There go. Thank you. Uh, I've just realized we've been live for like three minutes now and doing nothing but just talking about the fact that we're going to be live. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the announcement or you, or you want me to do it? So, someone uh, someone right else now. can do it. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm going to get some work. You guys won't believe how live we are. It's so live. And it's so live. So live. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's, do this. let's do this thing. First is, I think I'm going to make him actually like fully in proportion with UV4 skeleton. Uh base skeleton. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna like work on like adding moss and, so, some yeah. plants and stuff. Um and if we do end up with anyone like giving me feed like audio feedback, I'm just gonna mute you. Let me let me see. <laughs> You're quite quiet on the stream. For me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I shouldn't be. Hang on. Yeah, my microphone volume is at full on the like on in my Twitch settings and stuff. <laughs> What the maybe fuck it's means? just you, Demonic. Yeah, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Quieter than normal. Probably is. Yeah. Oh well. The whatever. pig that cried re has joined the battle. <laughs> Thanks for following. This works the way I think it works. This is really neat. When you have the um, actual human model inside of the minion, it looks it looks like he has no neck. <laughs> yeah. Crab, I literally just did that. <laughs> yeah, but you done that in a deaf one. Oh, did I? Yeah. You're a moron. Swag. <laughs> and then I posted in the general chat, but then no one listened. Uh, too bad wants to be moved. Can we move him? I don't think we have to. Uh, Oz we... can. Do we want to move him? Hey. No. I mean, yeah, yeah, now he's here. Yeah. He's too late. He's too late. Hey. He's here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think I think I don't know if I made this clear last time, but one of the rules to being in 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 the voice chat is you actually have to speak. <laughs> There's a rule you cannot lurk here. No, no yeah, lurking no, allowed. No lurk. Your stealth has been warded. <laughs> Alright, guys, don't mind me. I'm just gonna lurk. <laughs> <sighs> Watch you getting get super banned. I'm just here because I have privileges. Super, <laughs> super banned. Uh, 
I do not have a French accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not parlez vous the Francais. Parlez vous Frenches? <laughs> 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 And now, some baguette talk. <laughs> <laughs> right on your screen. French are just doing their thing, invading chat. Well, Slice, make sure you're not lurking from our hearts. <laughs> Good lord. Is Discord lagging? Not for me. No. Okay. I think it's just you. Yeah. I took my eyes off the screen for one second. I saw there was 12 viewers and I looked back and there's like 57. <laughs> so quickly. I mean, that's what happens. It like yeah, passes you by. When, the, when we start getting into existentialism in the stream, that's when we have problems, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so where were you when you first realized that life was meaningless and hopeless? Well, I was in this dev stream for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was at McDonald's getting a Happy Meal and I realized the Happy Meal didn't make me happy. <laughs> at the age of 24. It's funny, I actually woke up to McDonald's at the edge of my bed yesterday. It was pretty dope. Oh god. McDonald's delivers. The only time that really happens over here is after a, a night a night on the town and you know, messages from friends telling you just how big of a jerk you are and <laughs> had too many pints. <laughs> Have you got something to tell us, Lee? I am a monumental tool. There you go. Now everybody, no. now everybody everybody knows. Not a secret. But are you a sub tool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get them through the oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> or was it so good? No, it's one of those ones which is so bad it's actually hilarious. Why do minions look different? Bay speaking. We crammed a body in there. You know, Five Nights at Freddy's style. Yeah. He just wants to look different. <laughs> nice. Let him live his best life. I missed that. No, I, uh, he, he, he maybe looks different at the moment because I'm, um, currently just, like, trying to, trying to proportion him closer to the, the default, uh, UE4 mannequin. Closer. Not, not exactly, but... What version of ZBrush are you using? Uh, four, uh, eight. Yeah, four, R eight. <laughs> gotcha. I have one, no idea what. I'm using have. one of the versions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm using the new one. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like all of their versions look identical. Like they almost don't ever change anything. Bug fixes. <laughs> It's just all like back end shit. Oh, you mean kind of like uh, iPhones and stuff? Oh yeah. <laughs> What's different about this one? Well, this one has a, a letter instead of a number. <laughs> What's new about this one? We changed the entire UI. <laughs> we changed it from an S to a C. It's pretty much what they took the iPhones four, five C, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the five C uh, is plastic. <laughs> <laughs> the five C is plastic. <laughs> and you gotta have it in blue. So what's the difference between this phone and this phone? Well, after the update, it just turns plastic. It just does. Yep. <laughs> it costs yeah. twice as much, but yep. it's more durable. 
So I think we have a, 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 a guest from the community in our voice channel today, everyone. We have uh, two bad in our uh, in our voice chat. He's just looking at the moment. He's he's not saying anything, so I'm probably going to throw him out soon. He's already said some things. Oh, he's already said some things? Okay. What, what do you want me to attention? What do I want you to say? Ah, whatever you want, man. Whatever you want a Shakespearean monologue? Thank you. Whatever's, whatever's in your heart. No. <laughs> See, the funny thing is that he's in here, but he asked a question on stream chat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because, because I will totally um, screw what I will try to say. Well, then just tell everybody to shut up so you can talk. Yeah. yeah no more than the rest I of mean, the I mean, my English is too bad. Oh, <laughs> clever. I see what you did there. Is this just going to be full of dad jokes? <laughs> well, I mean, I am a, I am a dad. I have a license. Oh, I have four licenses. He's a oh, you have four licenses. Do you get it renewed every year? <laughs> no, I get one per one per kid. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you just hang them up on the wall like certificates. <laughs> yeah, like far from the year. These are my licenses for telling horrific, horrific jokes. Right next to your world's best dad mug. <laughs> I don't. I don't have one of those. Uh... Oh. My, oh, kids, my, my, kids, my kids don't love me enough. <laughs> <laughs> Donate almighty to get him a world's best dad. <laughs> oh god. I was just about to, but I realized he doesn't have his his uh what do you call it? A partner um affiliate thing yet. I was gonna give him bits. I think a I, donate I, I, button. Yeah, you can't give him biddies until he's uh, affiliated. I'm, I'm probably gonna get affiliate off the back of this stream, unless everything goes like incredibly wrong. Like unless everybody just hates us randomly. I mean, that could <laughs> happen. Been... I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna put it past. You anyone. get an email before, and then you have to do things and whatever. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Riggedy frack. Uh. Should make a pregnant minion that gives birth to smaller minions. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's I think blow it. I think one of the, one of the biggest advantages of our minions at the moment is that they are uh, uh, gender neutral, and that's probably a mm -hmm. good thing. <laughs> well, be a oh, not the way you were making it the other day. <laughs> Like look, the, look, the only people that were that that said that it was a penis was like you. <laughs> so I I was thinking it. See, see. Thinking and saying out loud are different things. You're, you're all perverts. Excuse me. Nah, what <laughs> What's your point? Angry British are pervert. No, nah, I'm I'm a nice guy. What are you on about? I'm not a pervert. Yes, you are. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't want it. Doesn't it doesn't take long. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I don't want to shut up. Meh. <laughs> 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 my stream, I'll take my ball home if I want to. I'm going to take my Z sphere and go home. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I guess where this is going. I keep forgetting that I keep forgetting that what you guys are seeing is a couple of seconds after what I'm actually doing. So, <laughs> so I'm just like, well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Apparently not. No, it's going in between not his yet. legs. No, she's pregnant. Yeah, like I said. I gotta get those obliques in. Man, your your anatomical knowledge is fantastic. <laughs> All right, guys. I wish I could stay, but I have to go play D and D and nerd. No, live, live no, life. I'm no, sorry. no, no. You can't. You're not allowed to have a life outside of you, this. Why don't you just play D and D in the stream? Because I have like three other people. I love you all. No, okay. no, just get yeah, voice comms. We can all play D and D in the stream. I cannot be <laughs> in two calls at once, but I will be in chat. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Okay. Bye. That's not nice. <laughs> Alright, so who's going to announce all the fellows in that? 
Yeah, that's, Lee, that's, that's not me. Uh, not someone has that. a question. Uh, yeah, hey, buddy, do you use a tablet when using ZBrush or a mouse and keyboard? Um, I tend to like just think really hard about what I want it to do, um, and then it just does it. Which is why you'll notice, like when I when I talk, the work tends to stop because I'm thinking of other things. Um, <laughs> no, but really, I uh, I have a uh, a Cintiq that I use. Nice. nice. That is for the people who don't speak that language. Yeah, Cintiq is basically a tablet with a screen on it. Yeah. So I'm drawing like straight on the screen. Oh. Neat. I've always wanted a Cintiq. It's neat. They're so nice. <laughs> I just have a little, little like 13 inch Wacom tablet. In Tools Pro. That's about it. Uh, is this the alpha announcement stream? No, it is not. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine? <laughs> Welcome to the monolith update. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm just trying to make sure that he's roughly human in proportion, roughly, um, because we can scale him dynamically in the engine um, to be like smaller or taller, or whatever. Um, but in terms of like base proportions, he should probably look like a, like a person. He looks so angry. It's awesome. He is angry, super angry. He's fucking pissed. <laughs> Why do you wouldn't want to? He's British. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's British. Wow. He's just just angry wow. all the time. Always angry all the time. Ain't I'm British. You. I'm not always angry. He's just not British enough. I was born and bred British. LH well. Assassin says, "Call the map Obelisk." I actually do like that idea. Obelisk, have... not. Obelisk. Well, I'm American. Yeah, so you can't even speak English. You speak American. <laughs> speak, speak, exactly. That's, speaking, that's not wrong. You're not wrong. Speaking American. American. America. America. I have such a weird English. Uh, well, actually, I should say American accent because it's mixed with Mexican from like South Chicago, and like broken. English at the same time. Like, I have Mexico both broken Indian. English and broken Spanish from Mexican. <laughs> Since when is Mexico in Chicago? You ever heard of immigration? God, you're racist, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, Frag's coming up with a Yu Gi Oh! once. Slice of Tree says, is this the same program you used to design the map? No, this is a this is a program specifically for uh, 3D sculpting. Yeah, so there's 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 different kind of terminologies for different apps. This is, I guess, what would be called a, a DCC app, so like a de a direct content creation app. Um, so ZBrush, 3ds Max, Maya, those kind of programs they they fall under DCC because those are where you create the the core assets that you're going to use in your game um and then once everything is at a st certain stage which is probably going to be another you know two or three streams away uh on this guy once everything is at a certain stage we then move away from the dcc apps and uh, we start putting everything into unreal engine which is where we're making the actual game and that's where we uh will be doing map well osville will be doing map layout um uh, and, and other things, but all of those things, like laying out your map and everything, that can only happen if you have 3D assets to begin with, and those are created in these uh, DCC apps. And silence. 
Uh, well, minions look different when low on HP, like parts of his body gone without the execute, obviously. Um, that if that does happen, it will be like way down the line. That's not something that we're we're likely to do right now. I mean, it would be cool to have bits fall off, but uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's that's more of a longer term thing, I think. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I I did like the idea that they introduced in Paragon with that. It's just I thought it would have been a little bit more um what's the word? Mm, I guess more dynamic. It's like I guess cuz as soon as you hit that threshold, it just automatically turned the mesh into something else. There was no actual transition to it. Like, it would have been cool to see actual states in between the damage. Yeah, definitely. Um, Frag Highly Explosive says, can we have a swole minion? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not against it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not against it. Um... Uh, so when you say core assets, what do you mean? Aside from minions, obviously, like other characters? Uh, well, core assets is like minions, heroes, even things like, you know, rocks in the map and, uh, you know, grass and things like that. Um, th those, those are all assets that you use to build up the game. You know, uh, The game just doesn't kind of like appear out of nowhere. You have to actually make things. Uh, Hoax League says, are you only working on the minions or other assets on the map at the moment? Uh, so I'm... My, <laughs> my role in the team is officially, like, I'm a, I'm a character artist, so... Uh, I worked on uh, Mangus, who you saw in the. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so I worked on Mangus, who 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 you, who you saw in the uh, the the state of the game reveal. Uh, she you is. Still said it wrong. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so she she was in the state of the game reveal, and she is uh, she. I mean, she's fully textured. She is uh, she's ready to go almost. Uh, she's in the middle of being rigged, and once she's rigged, we can get some animations done, uh, and then she will be our first uh, playable master, um, and uh, and and I can hopefully do some like sweet posed renders and stuff, you know, let you guys know how she looks and everything, um, and, and we're we're really excited to to reach that stage, so hopefully that will come soon. Um, I'm working on the minion at the moment because it'd be nice for us to have um, at least some kind of like original minion. Uh, in in the uh, in the game, uh, because at the moment we're just using these these. I mean, they look cool. Don't get me wrong, but we're we're just using these uh, these prototype uh, uh, minions uh, that are basically just like uh, they they're almost like the the UE4 uh, base mannequin in a lot of ways. So uh, we we want to try and basically like move away from as many of our placeholder stuff uh, or things as we can as soon as we can um so that we can start to really push forward with our with our kind of uh visual goals for the game um so i'm working on the minion at the moment and then uh, i'm only working on the minion during stream time at the moment like i'm not working on him uh off air where you guys can't see it um and that's because on the evenings that uh, that I'm not streaming, what I'm doing is working on the the back end things that will help out with uh, with the game's creation. So I'm working on the uh, the material layering system uh, that we're going to be using and other things like that. Yeah, hopefully that that answers that question. Uh, one question from Mark Okins: When minions die. Will their body parts disjoin and drop on the ground? Um, again, we're not entirely like a hundred percent on exactly how that's gonna go. 
Um, chances are, at the time being, we're going to stick with the whole, like, everything disintegrating when it dies, and that's that's purely from a, a time constraints point of view. Like, if eventually, it would be really awesome if we could have, like, unique death animations for things, and we could have, like, uh, you know, ragdoll physics for if someone dies in midair or whatever. Like, all of those things would be really cool to have. Um, but they're absolutely... Uh, longer term goals for us um at the moment we're focusing on making sure that we can get everything working and getting everything solid um and then we can focus on uh you know the the fun stuff not that this isn't fun i'm having fun <laughs> no but this is a uh, detail in fact for now yeah let's see if i missed any questions here yeah, thanks for, it was a for question taking that... the time oh, to, to do these, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no problem. There was a question about uh, hero release, the reason of uh, hero release. Oh, yeah, let me see. I think I just scrolled past it. How are you planning to release new masters? Is it going to be every three weeks, once a month, etc.? Um, we, we're absolutely not setting ourselves to a timetable for that. Um, at the moment, I, I've mentioned this in previous streams, and we've mentioned it on Discord and stuff. At the moment, there are only uh, three active uh, character artists, um, and we all have full-time jobs, and we all have uh, commitments outside of of developing this. And that means that we, you know, that we, we <laughs> basically we we just have to kind of like make things as we have the time to do it. Um, so we're 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 trying not to add extra pressure to ourselves by saying like oh yeah we're gonna have a, a hero every couple of weeks or or whatever. Um, that would be it. It would be impractical for for us, and it would also be likely to to disappoint you guys. Like we don't we don't want to say that we're gonna do something and then not be able to do it. You know. Sounds good. Um. Too bad I already answered this one, but I'll ask it. Uh, have you guys already got established lore, or is that not a priority at the moment? But lore yeah, is established. Pretty much, we have established. Well, I wouldn't say it's established because it's always being worked on, but we do have a you know a base of what lore is and how we can expand upon it. The base lore is been done. Yeah, it's just the heroes or the masters going in with the lore is what hasn't been done so much. But some do have their lore as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a kind of longest question. Can I ask it in Discord chat? Yeah, go ahead. Um, if you go into the public Discord, uh, just drop into the general channel and we will drag you over to the stream channel. And then I believe it's once the question's been answered, you get the boot. And, uh, well, I mean, like, we'll answer you, and because if if you have like a f small follow up question or whatever, <laughs> yeah, of course. But then you get the mighty boot. Yep, the almighty boot. The brand hammer. <laughs> um, do you have a color scheme in mind for the minions yet? Um, largely speaking, I mean, like they they're made of rocks, so they're gonna look like they're made of rocks. Um, the the, the differences in color, like per team. Is likely to be the crystals. So, like the crystals will have different colors uh, depending on which team they're on. And um, that's probably how we're going to handle that. It's probably the the easiest way for us to handle that. Actually, um, I can I can certainly make sure that the the rocks have different tones for each side as well. Um, yeah. Okay. So Slice has just entered. Hello, Slice. Hi, Slice. Hey. hey. How's it going? Hey. hey. It is going. You know, it's my Friday. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when Paragon released the assets, um, what exactly like came with them? Like obviously, the map and the heroes and the minions, and they, uh, you know, on the community corners they would talk about their quote data on <laughs> hero balance and scaling. <laughs> Camlets and face here, <laughs> and uh, did. Did that scaling and balance and numbers and whatnot, was that part of the assets or, or no? 
It was not. It was, it was not? not. No. So when when the as as far as I'm aware, and I can be corrected on this, but as far as I'm aware, the assets that have been released um, are purely artistic. Yeah. Um, and and a lot of them require uh, rebuilding as well in terms of uh, like animation blueprints and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and like uh, is is scaling and balance and numbers for everything that that's something that's far down the line right when you guys actually have something that's developed um so we have like a we have a mechanics a group of people working on mechanics for the game like right now and we have like they have spreadsheets in with spreadsheets oh, wow. and and stuff um they're all kind of you know like the mechanics guys like the these are these are guys that have played like lots of different mobas and um you know they're they're trying to bring as as many ideas to the table that are compatible with each other as possible um so they they're working on that stuff at the moment and uh the programmers have been testing little bits here or there um but the the main kind of balance part will come when we've got you know multiple heroes in the game that we can kind of play against each other and see what's really working and what really isn't working i'm going to chime in as a coder yeah. Um, so the balance system, all the numbers will be basically like updatable from a server. So what that will mean is, so we won't, we can push a patch without having you to actually download anything, and we can balance the game using just basically a database. So the whole point in that is, while we're testing and like in closed alphas and closed betas, we can be changing those values all the time, and we can get people to test them and say, is that too op? Is that breaking the whole game or is that making it balanced or stuff like that which will help us basically work out who's going to be op who's not what we need to nerf what we need to buff so on oh okay that's awesome well thank you for chiming in and yeah that pretty much uh sums up all my questions and everything but yeah thanks for letting me in here I'll show myself the door. You don't have to beat me. I got to ruin my fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much for, for coming in. Thank you for the questions. Um, so you got a question from Frag Highly Explosive. Hey, Almighty, when you said that there was a possibility of having 24 types of minions through random generator, does that include the range minion? Uh, that's literally just this guy at the moment. Uh, I haven't even started the the things for the range minion. We, when I when it comes to making the range minion, I'm going to be doing it from scratch, but um, definitely keeping like the aesthetics of this one in mind. So there will be a lot of similarities between them, um, but they they do need to like stand out as being different. They need they need to look different. So. Um, I definitely want the like all of the minions to have uh, randomization, um, but the randomization is likely to be different for each different type of minion. Also, uh, the math for uh, <laughs> we were wrong on the math for how many different parts there are. So there is at the moment four different arm configurations, four different leg configurations, four different shoulder configurations, and three different hair configurations, and that gives us 192 different million, minion configurations for this melee minion. Uh, that's Isn't it high. like 700 and whatever? Because <laughs> it's be 4 times 4 times 4 times 3. Yes. So, <laughs> it's lots. It's lots. 772? No, I think it's 192. Wait, I'm going to calculate this. Wait, what was it? Four... Four times four, times four, times three. Oh. Yeah, it's 190. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, that's still a lot of minions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, i just done um, too many fours. <laughs> bad. It's okay, man. Um... Hoax League asks, did you learn 3D modeling slash sculpting through educational establishment, or are you self-taught? Um, I'm actually self-taught. So my my story of how I uh, got into 3D modeling, um, 
I, I won't bore you with like all of the personal details of why I chose it and everything, but um, I started around the time of uh, Half-Life 1 and making mods for Half-Life 1. Uh, and then I moved on to uh, Jedi Knight and Jedi Academy, uh, which are still some of my favorite uh, like sword swinging combat games ever. I don't think they they've been beaten in terms of uh, active sword play. Um, and yeah, I just started out doing those, and it and it started out with me going like, oh, I want to put an extra sword in here, or I want to change the gloves on this guy, and then. Uh, eventually some people were like, oh hey, that looks really cool, like, do you want to come and make this thing for us and we'll pay you for it? And that's that's basically how I got into it, um, you know, a, a long time ago, and I've, I've just been doing it ever since. Um, so I'm, I'm, I am self-taught. That said, uh, last year I went to, I went back to university and I got myself a master's degree, basically because uh, I was teaching on a bachelor's degree and they told me that if I wanted to continue doing that uh, in the future, I would need some form of degree. Um, so, I, so I took a master's degree and, and just got a piece of paper saying, hey, you, you, can, do, you can do games art. And this is absolutely something that anyone can learn to do, like for free or for extremely cheap at home, you know, not having to go to, to school or anything. Um, going to school does have a couple of advantages though, like if you go to a good school and you and you have like good instructors that are, that are passionate about teaching, you can learn a ton from them and it's, and it's all stuff that, you know, it's, it's little things that you can't pick up from an online tutorial or just by doing yourself. It's, um, it's the ex it's their experience. Like if you, it, uh, to me, a good tutor is someone that uh, is happy to pass on their experience and how to apply that experience in a live working uh, project or environment. Um, so if you can find one of those, that's great. But outside of that, you can you can absolutely do this at home for for free. Um, and there are lots of people that have had very successful careers from just learning how to do this at home. Um, the other advantage that you'll get from school is uh, teaching you discipline. Um, you know, there, there are a lot of people that will will come out and say things like, oh, I, I don't feel motivated to, to do this today, or like, I, I, I just don't have the inspiration or, or whatever. And the, the, the simple fact of the matter is, if you want to be a professional artist, um, motivation and inspiration they go out the window you know those are those are those are um i can't remember i can't remember who this quote is from so i'm going to look it up real quick um but uh, it's one of my favorite my one of my favorite quotes um uh chuck close so the, 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 the quote is by uh, an artist called Chuck Close, and it is, inspiration is for amateurs, the rest of us just show up to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and, and what, he, what he means by that phrase is that you should never trust your artistic ability to something that is essentially chance, right? You should never trust your artistic ability to uh, being inspired by something random or being motivated on any particular day. You know, we all get down, we all get upset sometimes, we all have these, these times when we really don't want to work, but if this is your job, if this is what you want to do for a living, you have to do it. And so what you will learn at school better than you can probably teach yourself is the discipline of going, this is my task, this is how many weeks I have to do it, I need to get up every day, and I need to get on with it, and I need to finish it and see it through, you know? Um, there are like, there are millions of people out there that want to be games artists, and they are really, really, really good artists, but they never fucking finish anything, like their, their portfolios are full of half-finished things that, you know, just sit there and, and never get done, and they will never have a job, because, you know, Nobody wants to hire someone that can't finish a piece of work. On that note... I hope that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, Slice says, you seem very, very passionate about 3D modeling, and I'm glad you were inspired so much by Paragon to do something like this. We're all very grateful for being so communicative with the community. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I mean... 
some of my some of my favorite artists and friends worked on Paragon, and you know they you know they're very disappointed by the decision that was made. It's you know something that no no developer no no and I and I say developer by and meaning like actual developers like the artists, the programmers, the people on the ground like making making the actual game like none of those people ever want to see their game fail um they will all be working on this game because they want to be you know um and so like uh, everyone that i know that has worked on paragon you know they're all really sad that it's that it's gone um and uh you know i i i felt kind of saddened by it going as well and and yeah if i can if i can do anything that's even halfway close to the same kind of quality and uh um professional bar that these guys set i'm gonna be a very happy guy like they're they're honest like epic games have been for me for for many years like a, a benchmark that i've set myself like one day i'm gonna be that good you know <laughs> um and it's good to have those goals um and i don't think that goal will ever go away because while i'm sat here pushing myself like i know that those guys are sat there pushing themselves as well <laughs> so it's like it's an ever moving goal post that i that i don't think i can ever really really get <laughs> but yeah i um I, I love what i do I, I i do this for a living um i uh i'm i'm happy to be helping out on a on a project full of people that are all extremely motivated towards it um you know, there, there, there are some people that have game dev experience. There are other people that don't have game dev experience. But every single person on this team um, brings something to the table from their professional lives and from their personal lives that is really, really inspiring to see. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful to be, to be part of this. And I'm very grateful to you guys for, for being so, uh, so passionate about it as well. Really. You sound so weird being such a softie when you're usually a dick. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> I'm a complete asshole it's... to everyone on on the the, the private dev server. <laughs> so it's either he's just trying to be all big in the dev server, and he's trying to be, like really like heartfelt to everyone else, or he's just trying to cover up that he's a dick. I'm, I, dude, I'm I'm always big. Um, it's just whether or uh, and I'm always a bear. It's just whether or not I'm like a cuddly bear or a or a bear with teeth. You know, like <laughs> all bears have teeth. Yeah, but you what make you me want to use them more than most people. <laughs> you love me though. I'm one of those people which you love to hate. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you also hate to love. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, will these people who want to be game devs be the ones who take over your released assets? I'm not sure what he means by that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure either. Like, can you clarify that? Yeah, I was reading that. I can understand it. I saw that, and uh, I didn't bring it to you because I didn't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, like, if you can clarify the question, I'll happily answer. Um, but crab, yes, there is a symmetric system in ZBrush. Yeah, thank you. Oh, being able yeah. to sculpt yeah, symmetrically? Yes. One. yes there is. And it's friggin' awesome. Just need three people to tell that, got it. Maybe you meant uh, about giving your assets to everyone? Oh, right. Um... <laughs> well, yes, this I... might be. I don't know. I, uh, well, I don't know. Um... I'm not sure if it was the question. Oh, basically, uh, are you going to succeed where Epic Games gave up? Well, I mean, success is relative, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, if, if 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 we if we had, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, most most indie games fail. Uh, most indie games fail on like a commercial on on any kind of commercial success metric. But they will call themselves successes because they had like a thousand people buy their game or or whatever. Um, for me personally, and yes, the company has uh, has way more ambition than this, but I'm just a just an artist, you know. My for me personally, like if we end up with you know, let's say ten thousand people playing the game, I'll be happy because that's ten ten thousand people enjoying uh, something that I've been part of, enjoying the the artwork that I've made and stuff. Um, and to me, that's a success. 
whether or not that's a commercial success is highly debatable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I'm kind of like on the same board with that too. Like I've said it from like day one. I don't care if it's just even the dev team playing or if like it's everyone on the server. Like as long as you know me myself, I know that we all did something that no one really thought we'd be able to do, mm-hmm. and just to actually have it out there working. That's that's my term of success. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, already, like, I'm, I'm sat here thinking that this is, is successful as well because there were, there were a lot of people that said like we wouldn't make it past two weeks, you know, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and they were. Do you know what? Most people would be absolutely right to make that kind of prediction. Um, and then mm. there were, there, then when you know when Epic uh, released the Paragon assets and, and you know we had a big debate about whether we'd use them or not and when we decided we weren't and like the reactions that we got from that like both positive and negative like some of the negative guys there is like you you guys are dead you are dead right now like this is this is where you died and <laughs> and i'm happy to say that you know like <laughs> two three weeks later we're 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 still sm- like smashing as hard as we can um and, and to Thank me, you, point out on, on that some of them are also saying now positively that it's amazing I mean, it was the right call. Well, cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I, to to me, like, as long as we're still going, we're successful. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, so looks like we have a... oh, so... no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was about to say that people received um, the decision about not using the asset very well, and this was kind of surprising. I'd yeah, say yeah. such oh, yeah. uh, positivity. Yeah, we got the assets. I we think... really prepared for the worst. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I've got to be honest. Like, I was probably one of the loudest voices on the dev server for not using them. Um, and I've already, I've already discussed publicly my reasons for for not using them and everything. So I won't, I won't bore everyone with that. But I was definitely one of the loudest voices for not using them. And I, and I said, like, once we had had our internal vote and uh, and everything, I said, like. Just be aware, guys. Like this may not go down very well. We're probably going to lose like a lot of a lot of followers or or whatever um, initially, and we'll have to build that back. We'll have to gain a lot of people's trust. And honestly, I, like I I was blown away by the uh, by the public reaction to that decision. Um, and 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 if anything, it's inspired me even more just to to um, just to try and make something. Uh, something great, something that kind of lives up to that decision, because it was a big decision, and it and it is, and it, it was, and still is a big risk. And so, if we can, if we can make something that that lives up to that, you know, again, that's a success to me. Yes, it was. Um, and I think that the re- the release of assets should remain just a, a tribute to former Paragon players. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Bounce FX says, "Gur, I didn't know you streamed. Nice." <laughs> hey, Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I didn't, uh, but I do now. <laughs> Come on, any backstory to this? Like um, you had the last person, and you were like, "Oh, I knew this person from this, that, and the other." <laughs> uh, yeah, making a favorite story out of it. No, 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 no epic story to this one. Bounce is just a oh. a, a long term like uh, dev buddy kind of thing. Um, yeah. There there are many of them. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, sorry man. Um, like, like like not every story can be like, you know, <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> but that's the best ones to you. The best one <laughs> the best ones to me are the ones where I can just, you know, go home and say, "You know what? <laughs> I survived today." <laughs> Uh, there is also a good question in the chat. Uh, someone asked if uh, the game will uh, have two factions, like we had uh, Dawn and Dusk on Paragon, two sides uh, in the map. Uh, this is something that we're we're discussing at the moment, right, Osville? Um, yeah. We're, it's we're also kind of, kind of a law side as well. Yeah, it's it's something that we need to to kind of fully flesh out. Like o- o- Osville uh, and I have. Had some ideas about it and uh, and how we're gonna you know plan the materials from one side of the map to the other and there's there's definitely uh, it's definitely something that we want to do, um, but uh, again it, it's it's another thing where like at the time being we just want to make sure everything works. 
Yeah. Uh, and again, pointing back to um, Agora and uh, the way Paragon was at launch or, or uh, uh, during Legacy, it was you know everything was basically the same color, and you the only way you could tell the two sides was if you looked at the uh, the jungle flowers, and and even then that was only to indicate which side uh, each buff was on, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but I think we got some pretty cool ideas in store. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Oof. Hi. All day today, I've actually been working on, like, uh, kind of fleshing out the design of the map. Neat. And I know. I've of, seen it. Uh... Well, you've seen the old version. What, the one that you put on the thing? Yeah, that's, that's from, like... <laughs> You're going to hit me, but that's from, like... I don't know, week four or some shit. Or... All right, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> I, I, so, so yesterday, like I said, I, like, like I said, uh, like one of one of the things I, I do uh, when I, like in the evenings when I'm not streaming is I work on the back end stuff and I work on all the materials and everything. And so I was making sure some uh, some specific assets would be okay to put in um, uh, the prime pit. Oh yeah, we we we. So uh, Golden Week is going to be streaming uh, some concept art stuff for uh, our Prime Beast. Um, we're still, you know, we're still deciding if we're going to call it Prime or whatever, but it's something that everyone can relate to, I guess. So it will do for now. Um, and uh, and then in a few weeks' time, I will be doing the 3D art for it. Uh, but yesterday, I was looking at like, so yeah, like which environment bits are we going to put like around the Prime Pit and stuff, and then like. I was like, "Wait, how big is this thing?" And uh, and I put uh, I put Mangus in into the map where where the prime pit is, and I was like, "Oh damn, <laughs> this is huge with a Y." <laughs> huge. I think you have dyslexia. No, no, I don't. It's all deliberate. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've kind of got like all the all the rocking. I should probably work on this so it looks like ass. Um, <laughs> I've got like most of the the rocky parts and everything looking largely how I want it to look. So now I think I'm gonna try and just get some moss going on different bits. And like we've got some hairstyles that are made of crystals. I might make some hairstyles out of like flowers and uh, moss as well. I don't know. That could look. I don't know what everyone's opinion is on that. You should give him like little hobbit feet where he has <laughs> moss on the. Oh, on the yeah, top yeah. Part. Super, super hairy feet. <laughs> That'd be awesome. No. That sounds weird. What? Come on, dude. That's coming from me. <laughs> if Warren was here, he'd be geeking out all over it. Yeah, probably. Sure. We've got Lord of the Ring reference. But... <laughs> Warren's been fired, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you told everyone. Go. <laughs> He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> Bye. All right, let's make up the most absurd story ever. DerpNG asks, is there a way to check out lore? I used to write fan lore for Paragon. I'd love to have a go at this game as well. Uh, do we have lore people here? Yeah, that's not my, not my area of expertise, unfortunately. Demana? I used to, but I'm now a mechanics. Um, there is a Lord development channel in the Discord, as um, Crab said. Yeah, but for now, uh, submission and contribution uh, have to have to be in uh, direct messages with a link uh, uh, to a file because uh, it's easier to uh, gather all the information. Sounds good. I'm um, just wondering, will there be fog or mist in the jungle, or is it just day, or is it just day by clear? Um, well, you're you're the map artist, man. I was gonna say, <laughs> isn't this one for you, Oz? Well, I don't know. I thought I thought Almighty was gonna say something on it too. Um, I mean, that's something that I've been exploring. Um, but one of the things that I don't really want to have in the map is anything that's kind of obscuring your vision. Um, Cause you know, vision is a vital part. And if you don't, if you don't have vision, then you can't, you know, you're kind of screwed. So you don't want to have anything that's too, um, I guess, thick 
when it comes to like fog or mist. Um, but as of like, you know, the fog of war aspect, if that's something you're talking about, um, there's still decisions being made on how exactly we're using a line of sight and all that. I mean, the majority of the map is built around line of sight. Um, so I don't, maybe it would be used more for aesthetic purposes, but not necessarily for things like, you know, for example, those, the uh, shadow pools and legacy or like the fog walls from monolith. I don't think it would be anything similar to that. Yes. Uh, when we get mechanics and lore, guys. I don't know how you would stream that. How would you stream that? <laughs> you can't. It's more discussion-based. <laughs> so this is yeah, my I spreadsheet. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you can like stream a discussion with you guys. Kind of have like a like a what is that? How many people are on the mechanics team? There's like seven, eight. Seven. Have like a seven-way call on Google Hangout or something. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh. Uh, are you going to be transparent about what you're going to do? Um, an example, eventually new mods, characters, balancing. Um, what I, I'd like to think that we're already pretty transparent about what we're doing. Uh, one of the one of the ways we're doing so is actually having you kind of take a peek at what the development process is. Uh, for example, the development process of a minion. We're going through all the steps, pretty much. Um, so, I mean, in the future, I wouldn't see a problem with things like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, one, one thing that I think that we probably need to be clear about is that, like, um, there are some decision processes that we will have to make, you know, without public input. Um, that's just the way, like, games are made. You Like... Because you can't, because you have to know that you can't please everyone. You you know we 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 are trying our best to gauge input on uh, you know gauge opinion on every decision that we make, um, and we will continue to do that. But um, there are also going to be times when that's just not possible, and we're we're going to have to do things behind closed doors. That said, like any time we make a decision about anything, you know we we will tell you. <laughs> Yeah, because we like you guys. Except, Absolutely. Except that one guy. <laughs> Who's that one guy? Yeah, just that one guy. <laughs> Warren. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he'll do. <laughs> what about Warren? He's that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think calling it Prime is a bad idea. Go for something new. Stay true to your vision and not being too related to Paragon and stay unique. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Prime is like, like I said, Prime is just um, like a placeholder name that we can use because everyone will understand what we mean when we say, you know, this is this is Prime. Um, but when it reaches the point that we've decided on a name for it, we'll change it and we'll let everyone know. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's already a name for it. We just haven't released it. Oh, okay. Well, that might be released by uh, Golden, I guess. Yeah. Uh, he's good at leaking stuff over streams. So. Wait, Golden streams? Uh, he's he's been in the chat here and just like, <laughs> just, just in the in the in the, in the in, so yeah. If you guys, no, okay. it, I, I might as well tell you because someone probably has figured it out. But like, if you if you go back and rewatch the first stream, uh, Golden leaked the uh, the official uh, internal name for uh, for Magnus. Um, like, oh like, we're, like I think within like the first ten minutes of the stream, he leaked it. Is it this way? He's just muting himself out so he can't leak anything. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's Mangus. Yeah, Mangus. Yes. <laughs> it's oh, Gideon. Really? Is, it, is it really? Is it really Mangus? No, no it's Gideon. <laughs> yeah. It's Gideon. It's Gideon. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Gideon. Gideon. <laughs> Gideon, 
someone says Prime should be called Almighty Gur. Yeah. Yeah, go for <laughs> The Almighty Gur Orb. <laughs> Almighty Gorb. The Almighty Gorb. <laughs> Uh, while we are talking about Prime, um, someone is asking if uh, it will be the equivalent of the Baron of League of Legends, the Nashor. Uh, you have to wait and see. He's s replying already. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, what do you say? He says, yes, basically, it's considered the end game objective. I mean, I've got to be honest with you as well, like I, in terms of artwork, because that's really my main focus. Um, I, I've I've seen, I, I'm, I don't have like a, a Reddit account or anything, um, specifically for this reason. Like I, I see a lot of Reddit posts about like, you know, with, uh, you know, th this guy has only ever played Paragon. He hasn't played League of Legends or anything like that. And I am I am absolutely that guy. Like I played a couple of games of Dota, um. I looked. I think I installed League once, but didn't even bother playing a game. Um, the the whole top down thing is the the biggest thing that turned me off towards them. Um, it's just they're they're just not the kind of games that that's not the kind of play style that I enjoy. Um, so for me, like I I try and stay out of uh, mechanics discussions and and stuff like that. I focus purely on artwork. I'm just like yeah. So when it comes to when it comes to something like Prime. Uh, I just want it to be like a huge monster. <laughs> well, you got a huge pit to put him in. Oh yeah, he's a huge monster. Um, and I'm I'm excited to I'm excited to to work on it. Really am. Would you make a stream for making the prime monster? Uh, I'm planning to. Yes. Um, the, I, I think we're, we're planning on, um, basically streaming roughly a quarter of the, the content that we're going to be making, I think. That's cool. Can't, thanks. It's a plan. And, and, and obviously, like, plans can change, and, like, while I'm trying to be as regular as possible with streams, um, like, I, we, we've just discussed internally, like, what schedule we're going to have, um... You know, obviously there there are times when you know I won't I won't be available for them or whatever. But um, you know, we'll make sure that everyone is aware of of these schedules so that they can plan around if they want to come along and watch and and stuff like that. Because honestly, I really enjoy having you guys watch and and giving your feedback and um, you know, telling me you know if something looks bad, I I want to know so that I can fix it. <laughs> what can you give? What can we give feedback when your work is perfect? Damn, shots fired. Ah, oh, the love. How's that shots fired? I feel it, man. Because <laughs> he's blessed with compliments, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Get with <laughs> No, if anything, shots fired is where you burn someone. No, I know that. I'm being British, dude. You're not British. You have to pronounce the T. Only the British can pronounce <laughs> it without... Uh, you just have to get used. So, next question. Go for it. Um, there aren't any so far. There's a request. Yeah. Um, King Seratho says, I want you to do the other jungle creatures first, Gur. There's one in particular I want to see come to life, and I think I know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You're not my boss, so... I'm going to scroll up. Maybe I can find some other questions. Yeah, go for it. Or maybe even just some comments to make us feel nice. 
Uh, someone's demanding us to show them the spreadsheets. Uh, we do not, we do not uh, <laughs> deal with terrorist demands, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I guess this is referring back to um, not using the assets. Yep. Uh, I was glad because they didn't want a 2.0. I want a game that you guys sculpt from the ground up. It will add more character and uniqueness to the game, which will likely bring more players into it, in my opinion. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, thank you. That's, I mean, we... we... Within, within, like, before we'd even made the decision not to use them, like, we'd already seen three other projects jump on it, and, uh, and, like, we knew right then that, like, if we wanted to make a game that people were gonna stick with through the long term, um, we, we had to, we had to go our own way. Like, there was no other way to do it, because otherwise, like, you know, there's, how, how, how many games are all gonna be out there looking exactly the same? Just because of those assets, you know, and that's not. Don't get me wrong; it's not a bad thing. The assets are fantastic. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're an incredible quality bar to try and match, um, and they're, they're a fantastic learning tool. Like I, I've learned a lot just by like opening some of them up and going, "Oh, that's how they did that," you know, um, and that's in my opinion the best way that they should be used. Uh, and again, it's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, we, 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 we kind of decided that if we wanted something that uh that was going to be going for the long haul we we had to we had to be original or try to be anyway um are there many masters being designed right now that's a question uh do you mean designed in art or mechanically being designed um i guess you kind of answered both right yeah first size is kind of a yes Leo, you still alive? I am alive. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Um, are there many masses being designed right now? Uh, so Magnus is pretty much done. Uh, there were two that were shown in the state of the game, um, and we have concept art for I think two more at the moment. Um, so they're 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 coming along. They're 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 on their way. Um, but we have we have like the the kind of uh, background concepts for for way more than that. Um, it's just the art side of things is uh, a little bit slower than the other guys because all the other guys have to do is go like, oh, I have this idea, and the art guys actually have to make stuff. Um. Let's see. Um, how many masters confirmed? 15, 20, question mark. Um, I don't know if we've confirmed any number of masters, have we? I think it's 15. OK. I remember the It is 15. Yeah. Uh, you were talking or grow over time. You know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You were talking earlier about being hired in a game company, but what about expanding visionary games instead? Did you say that? Oh yeah, when I was talking about like uh, your attitude towards your work, if you want to, you know, get hired or whatever. Um, Got in terms of like expanding visionary games, yeah, I mean, if <laughs> if, if if you think that you could, um, if you think that you can contribute towards the game, apply. Like we. We're, we're, we're not in a position to turn people away, but you need to understand as well that we're also completely uh, unfunded. We are, we're all working on this in our spare time. We're, you know, we're just, just trying to make something, you know, um, while living our lives. So if you have, you know, all the time in the world to dedicate to it, yeah, we, we can absolutely use you. If, you. if you can only dedicate, you know, three or four hours a week, that's still fine. You know, as long as your contribution is meaningful, um, we, we'd be very grateful. So if if you if you're like a, a budding artist and you you're just like looking for something like uh, 
so again i do this i do this as as my day job um and uh one of the things that i found is because i work freelance uh i actually find it really difficult to find things that i can do to fill up my portfolio um a lot of the times freelancers get the short end of the stick because we are heavily under non-disclosure agreements we're not allowed to show the things that we've worked on and so um because a lot of, a lot of the business that we get is by word of mouth um and, and we're so busy working on things all the time our, our portfolios tend to suffer a little bit sometimes um and so the, the biggest reason i'll be honest that i uh, that i came on board with visionary games was uh because it gave me a chance to work on something that had uh structure and variety and that i would be able to put in my portfolio and just go oh hey yeah look this is all stuff that i've worked on in my free time uh, it's 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 nice to it's nice to have that pressure to perform like in in my in my personal work as well as in my uh professional work Someone asks, Almighty, what is that slimy stuff? Uh, it's it's hopefully not going to be slimy stuff. It's going to look like uh, moss. Um, it's kind of like growing all over the, the, the rocks that this guy has made from. Um, I'm just kind of getting to it at the moment. Um, same person who asked about the developer question says, I'm a developer, but I'm talking about you. Why thinking about other company when you can just focus on this? Uh, okay, I got it now. Never mind. He gets it. Okay. Here is on a delay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about other companies. You know, I have, I have my day job, which I love. Uh, and I have this in my free time, which I love. And I have kids, which I love. Kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of have to with them. <laughs> That's basically how my time is divided up, by the way. <laughs> Work, visionary games, family. <laughs> Are there more VG devs planning on streaming? For example, more artists, animators, coders? Yeah, there, there are definitely some um, stream schedules happening pretty soon. But as I said before, I really don't think there will be anything coming through on the code side, um, you know, kind of for like obvious reasons. We are setting up uh, the stream schedule uh, and its content. Um, so there will be um, more uh, activity on the official uh, Twitch channel soon. But as of now, right now, oh. why? You're lagging. Yeah, you sound like a potato, my dude. <laughs> oh, still? No. Or is you're, it better? You're good now. Is it better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, right now we have Almighty working on uh, minions and masters and other stuff. Then we have Oswell with uh, mainly environment stuff. And in the future we will also have uh, Golden Week with some concept art. Yes. Thank you. Backlash, I do not have a beautiful voice. I don't understand why everyone keeps saying that. <laughs> I really don't. It's so weird. Because you have a beautiful voice. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna Me hit up so. I'm gonna hit up May. And yes, you have a beautiful voice, Oswald. And Kelsey, and I'm going to report you guys to HR for harassment. <laughs> I'm not... I thought you mean hit him up as in, like, date him or something. <laughs> now I'm even going to I'm gonna hit him up even more because of that comment. What? Everyone said how beautiful your voice is, and, like, then... I am being thought. harassed. Why are you being so passive-aggressive, man? There's no passive aggression here. It's oh, no, just it's just straight-up aggression. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this harassment I can't deal with. Do you guys say harassment? Harassment. Deal with it? Harassment. 
Because I've heard a bunch of like Canadians and British people use the word harassment, and it bothers me. Harassment. 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 Yeah, it's harassment. But they say harassment. Nope. That's the American way of saying it. I've I've heard the latter. You heard wrong. What about aluminum? Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> ah, I knew Aluminium. it. <laughs> I knew it. It's an I in it. Like yeah. crispy you. Yeah. What about schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Dang it. <laughs> schedule. <laughs> Schedule. Schedule. <laughs> Are we now just making words which people can't pronounce and then just butchering from? Schedule tabarnak. Tabarnak. Scone or scone? Scone. Scone? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got you. What about um, Burandariko Terimikoro? Burandariko Terimikoro. <laughs> taco burrito, burrito. <laughs> taco flavored kisses. Burrito. <laughs> Fulfilling all your wishes with taco flavored kisses. <laughs> oh, wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Somebody's asking for background music. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I didn't put any on. I didn't put any background music on. Let me let me do that real quick. Uh, wait, what, was it, it has oh, to be it has to God, be a specific King type, here. right? Everyone's just joining all of a sudden. Wasn't it meant to be the bits which wasn't copyrighted, so you can stick on YouTube without the copyright infringement? Pretty sure it has to just be Monster Cat music, doesn't it? The Nyan Cat, just on the constant loop for twenty four hours. Yeah. <laughs> Month there we go. Someone just asked, what is that Andy text below the minion's foot? It's an Easter egg. <laughs> Having fun with pronouncing. Let's try German. I don't know if I want to read that. It might be something. Fahrkartencontrolleur. <laughs> I was about to read that, man. That was. Beat me to it. What does it mean? Farkatten controller. It's weird when a French says it. Um, it's it's, 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 it's a... the person on the train who checks your ticket. A train conductor. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I could have said that. Uh, bear with me, guys. I'm just uh, getting some music on the go. Uh... Ooh, electro. Yeah. yeah. Hello, John the Nerd. How are you doing? <laughs> A little bit of quiet, quiet as all hell background music. Wait, what's the other Easter egg, which is in every single Toy Story film? Not Toy Story, Disney film. Uh, it's the uh, the room that they all studied in. Yeah, it's the number like yeah. twenty one or something. Like that. Okay, Kairi. I don't know. No, that's Quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> You guys being racist? It looks like Quinceanera from over here. What does? Look closer. Whatever crab typed in. What, what does that say? I thought it was Quinceanera as well, and then I saw that crab did it. I'm like, crap, it's French. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she puts a long live French. <laughs> so basically, add some like. Viva la resistance. <laughs> I can just tell Crab and Too Bad is just cussing under their breath right now at this. No. Okay, how are you? We're doing swears, and, <laughs> swears and baguette. Swears, swears and baguette. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nup a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an upgraded French. Crab is, upgraded. Crab, crab is our, country, uh, our company baguette, so. Yeah. No, she's the data baguette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please show me some respect. <laughs> and Draconitus too is a baguette. Oh man, what is that word? Holy shit. German is worst. Oh my god, German. Um, <laughs> Deutsch Stump. Deutsch Stump. Deutsch. 
Shift. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's be card for Das ist ein Flammenwerfer. Uh, Deutsche Dampfschifffahrtsgesellschaft. Did, did someone just, just say in German, that's a flamethrower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worth Flammen. <laughs> it worth <laughs> die Flammen. <laughs> this, this is a flamethrower. It throws flames. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> das ist ein Panzerfaust. It fausts Panzers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Actually, like, there, there are lots of words that uh, their German equivalents just sound really angry. Like, uh, butterfly. Like. Butterfly is uh, Schmetterling. <laughs> or, like, ambulance. Ambulance is a nice sounding word. Krankenwagen. Krankenwagen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Holds true with their with their fairy tales as well. Jesus Christ, I'm glad Disney toned those back. Oh yeah, yeah. German fairy tales were uh, kind of savage. <laughs> All original fairy tales. We're doing a savage. whole unit on them in German right now in class. Those. That's fun. Anyway. Uh, how is the German in our voice chat? I don't know. How are you, in German? <laughs> uh, the German is feeling very fine. So Ooh, beautifully good. Can we, good. Can we just fun? rename Shakar into the German now? <laughs> the German. The German. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I mean, we have crapped the data baguette. I could be Shikar the community bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> the community bratwurst. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> but now it, you can. Uh, I'll go to sleep. See you guys. Have a good night and uh, have a good stream. Yep. Good night. Good night. Cab. See a baguette. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong way. What you doing, Osville? Um... He doesn't stuff. even know. <gasps> what? What? Oh. No, 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 no. Dude, Unreal's being stupid. Nine, 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 oh. nine, nine! <laughs> when is it not? Is it not stupid? Oh no. I mean, Paragon is a thing that exists currently and won't anymore. <laughs> what's if, Paragon? If yeah, what's that? What's Paragon? Hmm. What's it's an Paragon? anomaly? Sounds like a good, good game. Should I get it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It it's free. I I think. Um, <laughs> play it. You should try it. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah totally it's not good. dying in the next two weeks. Yeah. Pretty good game. What about you, project? You, you could invest a significant amount of time into this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like totally, totally hours. won't be thrown away. I don't even want to know how many hours I put into that game. It was a disgusting. No, do I. Luck and, luckily, and I'm under. Well. <laughs> luckily, I'm under a thousand hours. Although, I have, I have fi like five hundred hours in Paragon. I know oh. a few thousand hours. Yeah, I'm. Ha I Thank you, school, for keeping me from spending a couple thousand hours in Paragon. For nothing. For fucking nothing. Well, the, the experience. Bad. The experience. The yeah, friendship. You, had, you enjoyed your time there. Isn't that all that matters? No, I want that goddamn master skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could have gotten it. You still can. Just put a whole bunch of boost on it and you'll be able to get it in no time. Yeah, but he sucks. <laughs> yeah, you've still got to be good. I mean... Yeah. yeah. What about Paramount? What about Paramount? <laughs> oh, I heard they're really nice guys. 
Is it an actual thing? Were they seriously not scamming at all? Wait, what? They never, never done anything out. to even find okay. out. Okay. I was about to say, because like you said that as if like the project they had actually showed something for a project. You're like, yeah, no, they're they're pretty nice guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm you should know by now. Anything I say, just don't listen to or take with a pinch of salt. Okay. You just listen to me. Yes, backlash. That is cool, yo. Yeah, I'm still confused. Sup, backlash. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, bro, Chacho. Also, backlash. Why did you give me a pog champ? I'm not that exciting. Um, I was gonna say, someone else want to read off questions? I'm working. <laughs> I'm spamming emotes. You spamming up my channel, man? No. God is watching. He's spamming up my channel, man. Who's watching? <laughs> oh, it's just a thing I saw on Scrubs. Oh. <laughs> the janitor's like, God is watching. And then he asks a question, and, they, and he always gets an honest answer. And he's like, who is this god person that everyone's so afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> Shots fire. Janitor was the best character in that show. I will fight anyone that says otherwise. Otherwise. There's fight. Oh, wait, I, I, Dems. Yeah, man. Best be prepared, prepared to die. Best emo ever. So I don't know. I don't know how. Ugh, can't speak English. Speak I don't American. Know if I, like, I don't know if I like these tower things in mid lane. Okay. Um. You just offended Oz. I just offended myself. Oh yeah. Apologies. <laughs> I don't recognize everyone's voice, alright? I'm still... I was like... But he said the same voice. Uh, John the Nerd says, bring the Mohawk back. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Uh... <laughs> bring yeah, people's just... Back. Bring back the people's minion, huh? Need to find the right uh, thing to unhide here. Here. You so hopefully, he should look like he's got moss patches growing all over him. Yeah. Ooh. Should just like help it basically just help break up the uh like the monotone rock color that they're all gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a version without moss as well. Uh and then we can do tide ads in the game. Tide ads? Yeah. It's a tide ad. It's a tide ad. Most clever mark most does, clever. Does, set does, of does your does your does your minion come out sparkly the white? <laughs> <laughs> it was just. You want your minion to come out sparkly white? Hi, Dad. It was good marking. I'll give that. Excuse me? What have you not seen it? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I just got really offended at this stupid static match. <laughs> it did some wonky shit. Alright, I get offended by fucking just random pieces of binary code too. 
<laughs> I thought I thought you were just gonna like stop it at fucking. I was like, <laughs> no, I am not like sixty uh, percent of America. <laughs> Good, I'm not part of that sixty percent. Six percent of America. Why? You know, that's something I've never understood about about America. Why? Why is everyone so goddamn sensitive? Yeah. Oh. This is, this, is, this, is, this is the nation that decided to start a war by throwing tea into a harbor. <laughs> <laughs> We're from being from just. It's like fuck your tea, Britain. <laughs> to to now we're just like oh no, we just can't we can't have our 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 children who are definitely up at ten thirty at night hearing hearing the, this vulgar language. It'll ruin their ruin. Everything they do in life, they'll just be potty mouths and just, and just like, no, no, honey, we're already going to be like that by high school. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, my my five year old daughter can already sing the lyrics to uh, <laughs> several yeah, I was... songs. <laughs> I don't even care, man. <laughs> <laughs> Best parent. Yep. I will argue until the end of my life and the ability to curse at people. <laughs> so someone asks, is there a face on that guy's right pectorals? Oh. There is now. No. Oh look. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to see this. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it sad? Just let me it looks like a Mad Max character. It's pretty dope. <laughs> Mad Max minion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, I should totally give him a waistcoat. <laughs> No, just make him that uh that guy with the flaming guitar. <laughs> oh, in Fury yeah. Road. Yeah. Yes, that needs to be a ranged minion. Uh. <laughs> One of the variations of the ranged minion just has this yeah. big old guitar. It's like one in every like one one in a million chance of it spawning, but when it does, everyone freaks the fuck out. Uh, we need a master blaster from Thunderdome. Yes. Party minion. <laughs> oh, baby, you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> You got any more questions at all? I imagine people. No, everyone, everyone's listening, driving. Of listening to me. <laughs> uh, if you only pay fifty euros, you get guitar guy as range minions. Quid? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll I'll sell the guitar guy as a as an add-on. I have no shame. Should I give him like a mustache made of moss? <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a mustache, if you will. A mustache. <laughs> you have got to do that. Someone just came up with the worst idea ever. They said, "John Cena has a super minion, one in one hundred thousand. Why yeah, would, but why but would you then... want that? You'd never be able to see them." Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's the worst idea ever. That and just like mysteriously, that lane you couldn't lose anymore. <laughs> um, is that it? Hey, puppy. Woof, woof. Oh, man. 
Well, good news, guys. Mid lane's coming along. Quite yeah, nice. Hey. Yo, I'm give him a Charlie Chaplin. I'm, I'm, oh I'm deleting that. I'm deleting that. It's not happening. Get rid of it. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like a band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> As we'll give us a big or it didn't happen. Yeah, as well. Put put a thing up in uh in the in the VG uh VK private chat. <laughs> of? Uh mid mid lane. <laughs> Oh, okay. Give me one sec. Ooh, baby, that's not good. Is the mid lane still as shiny as before? Shiny? Gold. Oh, oh yeah, that's very gold right now. I gotta tweak some of these things though because these chicks don't even know the name of my band. <laughs> Damn son, you old. Am I really? <laughs> Did no one else get that reference? Because if not, then I guess I am. <laughs> I was totally listening. Yeah, I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> Do it I again. That, I was just saying that these chicks don't even know the name of my band. But they're all on no. me like they want to hold hands. No? Okay. Right over my head. I'm very sorry. Um, I guess I'll take a screenshot of this side. So a lot of the rocks are missing, but... It's because I had to like gut this bitch. Uh, we got a suggestion. Give him some Super Saiyan three hair. <laughs> like crystals down to his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> probably late. Like, no, I actually, I did I I binge watched uh, Dragon Ball Z, all three seasons. Like oh well, all three sagas. Sorry the. Freezer, Freezer, Cell, and Boo sagas uh, with my kids recently. Introduced a, a whole new generation of people to bad anime. Uh, hey Rob, you didn't have any issues opening up the map, right? No, no, opened it right up and. Uh... Built everything and it worked just fine, yeah. Well, while you look at that, Demonic, what's your excuse? <laughs> yeah. His excuse yeah. was he's not here. probably be <laughs> that he's not here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some reason, Shakar couldn't open it. Um, I think Backlash couldn't open it. Um, someone else couldn't open it. I was just like, why? <laughs> Yeah. I just I really couldn't understand why they couldn't open it. Uh, when I first opened it the first time, uh, I had to update Unreal, but I mean, I don't think I was on the latest release, but that was it. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. able to open it up just fine. I walked Demonic uh, through it this afternoon. You heard it here first, everyone. We have a project uh. that can be opened by everyone on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Yeah, the, the problem on my end was rather that download the oh yeah you didn't have everything in the download yeah it, it, it just didn't pack everything in the zip file don't know that happened so when it. i downloaded it from drive i had to download each folder individually yeah that's yeah that's I what i had to do as well that. that's so weird i literally only got the pro the fucking like 100 kilobyte like launcher thing the project and when i try to open it it's it's just like a blank thing, like a new project. It's not weird. When I downloaded it, all it downloaded was uh, I think the videos that were recorded for the SOTG. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, by the way, I'm uploading the images right now to the... <gasps> I put them in the wrong one! Oh no. Holy shit. <laughs> Quick! Did you, did you put them on find the them! <laughs> yeah. Too late, too late, I got Quick, them. find them! <laughs> what did you do? I inception that. <laughs> Wait, did I? No, I didn't. If you yeah. put it in the public discord, he's fired. No, I didn't Fired, fired harder than, than uh, Warren, alright? Hey. It's just... <laughs> Damn it. It's because I see the microphone on the other ch Discord channel. And I thought we were in staff for some reason. Oh, shit. Alright, well... Let me post the last one again. I'm in the right one this time, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Me neither, man. Um, Basically, a see someone else got my reference. It was D12. <laughs> Thank you so much. Not not knowing what's going on is like a perpetual state of existence for me. Perpetual state. Of existence. All right, I'm taking one more image, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Alright, and you guys should be able to see... You guys should be able to see them now. Yep, I'm looking at them right now. Cool beans. I actually even lowered the middle part because it, I felt like it was too high. There wasn't enough of a dip going down mid lane. I can't see it. You can't see it? Oh, that's right. It's in environment <laughs> <just> ideas. <laughs> Have a look. Oh, wait, is he not? Is he not oh, yeah, the... this is cool. This is cool. I like this. No, but, but I think the main problem with him is that he's not a team member. Yeah. <laughs> right. Unlucky Thanks for time. reminding me. I'm not the team members. <laughs> Too bad. So, <laughs> uh... You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Feels too bad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys plan on using the UE4 engine for all the audio and sound sequencing? That would be a question for Boof. Who is not here. Yeah, who is not here at the moment. Uh, I mean, yeah, we were talking about that last week, me and him. Oh, yeah? No, uh, he has one that he likes using, I guess, a little bit more than... What is it? Oh, let me pull it up. I forgot That's what it's fun. called. Yeah, there's one that he likes better than F mod, I guess. So we want to do more of the mixing uh, before bringing it into F mod. Okay. Sounds good. Roof, by the way, is just an absolute beast at this stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Like for me, with with just about any game that I've ever played, actually, like music is probably the biggest thing to me. Like, if a game has good music, it it, it can make or break something for me. So I'm I'm very happy we have Booth because he is awesome. Me too. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, John, you have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. So, discussion time. Yeah, go for it. Talk about stuff. Red or purple? Oh, man, they're opposite ends of the spectrum. Can we find a middle ground somewhere? Um, Blue? Why does everything in America have to come down to, like, two sides? <laughs> okay, so quick question. Different. On these assets that were imported recently. Yeah. The Yeah, yeah. Of, of the fungal variety. Okay. Um Is there a way to increase the resolution on these? Uh, okay, so which ones are you looking at? Yeah, I, I guess you're probably looking at the gray one, like the gray brownie one. No, the newer ones. Yeah, which one? <laughs> uh, the ones you've already put. put yeah, the which, ones you've already which newer ones? I put loads in. <laughs> no, no, I know, but the newest ones, the, the ones that are actually in the map. Oh, right, okay, right. So, so the giant, giant orangey one. Um, yeah. I think, I think, if I remember rightly, I manually, like, I selected all of their textures and I, in, like, bulk edit via property matrix or whatever, um, I set their maximum size to be, like, 1k or 2k or something because people would say, like, people would open up the map and they're like, oh, everything's laggy! Um, and... Oh, because, yeah, that was me. Yeah, but, yeah, that was you. Because I didn't have any, um... Because I didn't have the mesh slots sorted, I thought that would be like a quick fix for that. Oh, uh, okay. So you can you can do the same thing. You can select all the textures and you can put the max res up to 4K, uh, which is what they were imported as, if you want. All right. And look for these then. Oh man, these are nice. Or I could just get some like 8K textures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 8k <laughs> fucking amateur 16k. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Yeah. I I've I seen some stuff man. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you get four 4k monitors put together and stitched together in one screen. Yeah man. My 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 computer setup looks like a command center. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we should have like a a battle station post up in the in the public Discord or even in in the staff Discord. Yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Battle station post. <laughs> oh man, I can just already see Warren's fucking <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I, I hope I hope he genuinely puts a picture of a potato up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Age Cross asks. Do you guys think of having two different minion models to represent each team, or is it just going to be color-based? Uh, at the um, moment, it's just going to be color-based. At that's, the moment. That's, yeah, that's very much like a time constraint thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bed now. Okay. okay. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, night Papua. Well. Then fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Shit, that's gonna be that's gonna be on the on on the yeah that's gonna stream, be on, on the, the VOD upload. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mad. <laughs> and he, uh, I, I think he's responsible for putting the VOD upload. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what did you do? <laughs> About to get fired, man. <laughs> We'll just have to fire Warren again. Yeah, he'll take the fall, man. I'm he's, a, he's a nice guy. Uh... Oh, okay, I found it finally. So you put him down to 1024. Yeah, okay, yeah. Stick him up to uh, 
If you're doing it in the, the bulk edit thing, um, you can do it with all of them at once. Um, just just stick it up to 4K. <laughs> or, actually, no, put it to zero. Uh, if you put it to zero, it sets it at their uh, base resolution. Okay. Um, I'm going to test out 4K, 4K, 4K. Yeah, let's check out selected. Oh yeah, those are looking way better already. What at uh, 2K res? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to handle it. Like, it would be nice to have 4K for people whose machines can handle 4K, but I'm honestly unsure of the best way to handle that in terms of like uh, setting it all up in the engine. It'll be fine. Oh, what's up, guys? S system requirement. The oh. requirements will just be like 17 Titan X's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, unless you're sponsored by Nvidia, you won't be able to play this game, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just too, it just, it's just too powerful. The yeah. engine. Sponsored, even. Sponsored. Sponsored. Like, not Wait, talk either. about Nvidia on stream? Hashtag not spawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. Wait, is that a thing? Do I have to do that? Sponsored, even. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm unsure of the rules. What do I do? <laughs> it's, it's a joke. I'm pretty sure. What was the question? I don't think it's a question. We were just, we were just fucking around talking about it, and just saying that it would be so demanding that you'd need so many time <laughs> nexes. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna look good. Not, not spawn. <laughs> It's gonna look good. Let's go away. Yeah, what he said. Yes, check out selected. Oh dang, man, that scythe is looking pretty dope. Yep. I'm really liking it. Oh yeah, dude, we should just leave it that green color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mesh. The selection. Okay. Now I have to do this really boring thing that everyone on the stream is going to be like, uh, this is lame. Uh, where I basically I have to rename all of the meshes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done right. it. I should have done it as I went along, uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is this is an important step. <laughs> Can we get the bot to play a ten-hour loop of Jeopardy? <laughs> what? <laughs> While we're waiting for you to do this, man. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> Come, no. On. <laughs> Come on. Noise. Yeah. No. no. Although this may this may highlight the tedium of game dev to some people as well. Like. Or just play epic sex guy. Actually, well, <laughs> yes. Epic what guy? Epic sax guy. Oh yeah, I didn't think. I heard something completely different. Oh, cool. Because my English is so bad. No. Yeah. Man. Nah, man, I can I can understand it pretty well. No, but his name's too bad. Oh, that is shut up. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, why are you why are you doing that? Oh, that's why. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> 